This clearly demonstrates what we've long been saying, which is that a whole host of legislation already exists to deal with violent extremists and those who incite others to commit violent acts. The government doesn't need to add extremism disruption orders to the pile. Ministers have been utterly unable to define uh, what they mean by extremist and extremism and so EDOs risk criminalising all those ordinary people, including Christians, who hold traditional views. The government has tried to argue that EDOs are necessary in order to tackle the likes of Anjum Chowdhury. His conviction without the use of EDOs now presents an opportunity for them to recognise that in fact EDOs are not needed, they're not wanted and they should simply drop the policy altogether.